What's up world? Lee here with Sticks, Strings, and Other Things, my teeny tiny little corner of the internet where I come to you, usually, every two weeks to chit chat with you, to you about all of the crafty things that I have been getting my hands onto. This is episode 51 and I am filming it on November 29th. It will go up on the last day of November, the 30th. Can you believe it is the last day of November already? If you are new here. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. Click the subscribe button. Um, I tend to be somewhat reliable in a fortnightly little video on my crafting. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I very much appreciate having you here. It's delightful. All right. I am coming to you from the Pacific Northwest where it snowed. It snowed this morning. There was snow falling from the sky and sticking to the ground. It was astonishing. Grant you, all the stuff on the road already melted. <laughs> There's still snow on the trees and on the roofs and on the cars and it looks all pretty and it was really pretty to watch the snowflakes fall down and I very much enjoyed it. My favorite kind of snow, the stuff that doesn't stay. However, we're supposed to have snow on and off, like all week. And I keep going, oh, I'll believe it when I see it. And then it starts falling from the sky, so I have to believe it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I doubt there will be a snowmageddon, which is good. Hopefully there will just be a teeny tiny bit of snow and we can just appreciate it and go, oh, pretty, 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 nice. Oh, I am wearing a hand knit sweater that I'm blanking the name on, um, on the name of. It was by Petite Knits. Basic Raglan sweater. I don't remember the name of it. It's, it is a basic raglan. Um, it's very comfortable. I used a fingering weight held with a black mohair. So you can see. Ooh, fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. It's delightful. I love it. It's super comfy. Oh, these are my notes because I need them. It's been a month. Um, there is less crafting than you might think for me having been gone a month. However, that is because two weeks ago today I was in surgery. <laughs> so, definitely puts a damper on any and all crafting. I am just starting to be able to cross stitch again. Just starting. But we'll get to that. Oh. In my nice little mug here, I have some Earl Grey tea because of course I do. I almost always have some tea of some kind. And Earl Grey is my favorite, so. Nice basic Earl Grey. Now, let's get into things. I have some finishes. I know. I know. I know. They're all knitting. But there are finishes, none of which are blocked because I physically can't right now. So, they do not look their best but they are done. First up, this lovely hat. It's called the Midas hat by I don't remember whom. And I am using, oh man, I forget whose yarn it is, but I do remember the name of the colorway, which was Barnabas. It's a fingering weight hat and mm, super comfy, super cozy, really nice, a little bit of slouch, but not too much. Love it. Wonderful. Not blocked. It'll, it'll be a little nicer after I block it. But I like the little flecks of red. If you know who Barnabas was. Makes sense. All gothy with a little bit of red. Good for a vampire, right? Yeah, really like it. I'm gonna like it even better after it's washed and blocked because, well, you don't really block hats too much, but after it's washed because then the, the fibers will all plump up and they'll be pretty. I also, ooh, he finished my work socks. Ugh, I'm not even going to bother with sock blockers today. <sighs> Just not. So I finished my work socks. Aren't these lovely? Oh, so nice. This is um, what I remember of the Hermione Everyday Sock. I'm not sure if it actually was because I didn't go and look it up. I just went, I think this is the pattern. It's just a alternating knit pearl kind of thing to give you some texture. I used Serial Knitter 
one of her sock bases, I'm not sure which one, in the colorway Outdoor Sex with a <sighs> shadow wrap heel. 64 stitch sock on a probably a 2.25 millimeter needle. I like them. They're very pretty. I like how nicely they match. There's a little bit more flashing on this one, but I all said they really look good. Cyril Knitters does a nice job with her dyeing. The next thing that I finished, Suzanne, if you are watching and it is before Christmas, close your eyes right now. I've given you warning this time, just in case you're watching. Close your eyes. Okay, they're closed, they're closed, keep them closed. I finished this very pretty, very lovely, very nice. All right, Suzanne, you may open your eyes again. This is how you take care of gift knitting. <laughs> okay, now she knows she's getting something knit, but I think that was already obvious. Anyhow, all is well. And the last thing, ooh, I'm gonna have to not have things on this side, okay. Th there might be a pause after this so that I can rearrange some things. Uh, the last knitting piece that I have finished is my Chook Housed cardigan. Not a cardigan, it's a sweater. It is not washed yet, so this lovely lace detail at the bottom still isn't to its full potential, but I have finished this. This is a sweater by Skein Deer, Ellie of Skein Deer Knits. It is a slightly cropped, um, air and bulky-ish weight sweater. I used, what did I use? I used a uh, Ramagarn Vom's was the, was the yarn that I used in their colorway Petrol, which was like number 057 or something like that. Yeah, anyway, this is really hard to show off when I can't use this arm. <laughs> Uh, after I wash and block this, it is going to be so much more lovely, and I will make sure to get a lovely photo of it somewhere. But I just love this detail down here. It is so pretty. Ah! And it was a top, mm -mm, bottom up construction. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. There were nice, there was, there, there were some nice short rows in the back so that it raises the back of the neck up so that you you don't feel choked <laughs> um, by your sweater. So that's why it has that lovely curve in the front to give you that nice, uh, don't wanna, don't, don't wanna strangle myself. And I just, I love this sweater. It feels so good and it's just gonna be nicer after I wash and block it. Ah, uh, so lovely. Uh, Skein Deer does, Ellie uh, does some beautiful patterns. Just absolutely gorgeous. I love them. And she's decently size inclusive. Oh, all the uh, ribbing on this was a twisted, twisted rib. It was very pretty. All right. Before I continue, I'm actually going to. No, I'm going to show you one last finish. It is neither a knit nor is it a cross stitch, but it is still a finish. Let me explain. I had wild hair. And so. With the help of the guy, <laughs> yes, yes, those are dice on an LED. <laughs> and they are so blown out on on camera, but they are so pretty in real life. <laughs> look at this, look at that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is this was fun this was fun um the guy did the hard work of the drilling and i did all the gluing so yeah just some cheap translucent dice of yeah the D, &D variety so you have all the shapes in five different colors a string of leds that is my last finish all right now I'm going to, ah, sorry, just leaning over. Uh, now I'm going to pause for a second and readjust where I put things 
Normally I put them over here to bring them up, but that's just too much for this side right now. So I'm going to put everything over here. So I, yeah, anyhow, you don't need the explanation, but I gave it to you anyway. I will be right back. Hold on. I'm back. A little bit of rearranging had to happen. So now I'm going to, whoops, <laughs> I covered my notes. Um, so those were all my finishes. I'm feeling very proud of myself. I had four finishes, five if you count the string of lights, but I, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, it was, it was crafty and it was a finish. So I had five finishes in this past month. I, I have nothing to sneeze out there. I'm pretty happy. And I got that sweater done and I was so happy to get that sweater done. Oh, now just to do the washing and the blocking. As soon as I can you know, hold high, 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 let's try that in English words and not mumbling. Once I can actually pick up more than five pounds, I might be able to wash and block my knits. That'll be great. Right, so let's get to my two. Oh, I forgot one of my whips. I'm going to have to go get it. Um, my two knitting whips and my two, technically three cross stitch. One is a whip and two are new starts. That's just all. So living in he, my lovely, lovely, lovely fat squirrel fiber bag. I love these bags. I want more of these bags. Do I need more of these bags? No. Am I sad that I missed out on all of the bags out of her last um, update for her shop? Yes. There were like three bags that I wanted and I was late. They were all gone. All of them. <sighs> Snooze you lose. Anyway, living in here is my half and half triangle wrap, which I don't show very often, but which is getting, ooh, I didn't, I didn't put, I didn't put my my fox needle stoppers on. Oh well. I'm getting closer to closer to the end. So I just have this many more rows to do because for each row that you do, you eat up one more stitch when you're finishing it. So here it is. I have this whole square done in peach stone. And then this one which was black iris or something like that I could look oh, I love the half and half triangle wraps this is the pearl Soho linen quill yarn and do, 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 peach stone and peach stone and dark iris sorry that is the the purpler color I love this yarn I love this project I know I've said it many many times but I'm saying it again I love it it feels like an amazing hug and I really want to get that one done because I still can't comfortably wear my first one which was the black and gray version because I wore it constantly when I was going through radiation and now when I put it on it makes me feel ill. Which is super sad because I love it. So making another one, I was making another one anyway and it won't have those connotations so hopefully I can wear it get comfortable with it with it and hopefully let the the black and gray one rest for a while so that I can go back and wear it again otherwise if it constantly makes me feel like I'm ill I'm just gonna have to give it to somebody because I it's too wonderful it's too wonderful to just be sitting around not being used it's what it is all right and now the 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 other thing that I I could knit after my surgery. I could not stitch at all until literally just yesterday. So I got a lot of knitting done, which is great. So this is my hue shift blanket. This is one quarter. Ooh, it's really hard to pick up. This is one quarter of it. So I don't remember. I think I just had five of the blocks done. And so now I'm on it's really hard to show. Do, do, do. So here we go. I am currently working on this purple. Mm, that's not the color, Lee. It would be pink and orange. And then we have all the other.
colors for this quarter. So you do it in quarters and then you arrange it and you'll have this lovely fade in a rainbow gradient and it's lovely. This is ooh, a Knit Picks pattern and I am using their Brava Sport Weight which is an acrylic yarn which is great for blankets and this is a really nice acrylic it doesn't squeak and I enlarged the pattern. I have discussed before how my math was questionable when I did it and now it's gonna be the biggest blanket on the planet but it's all good. I'm very much enjoying it and I am doing it on ooh, some 3.75 millimeter needles which is a US 5 and I'm using my Haya Haya Sharps which are my favorite needle. Just basic. Favorite needle. Hands down. That is all of my knitting. Enough, right? Now let's get into the stitching. I need to go run and get the stitching. I, I brought one of the three. I'm with it. I'm with it today. I'm, I'm doing real great. So I will pause and I'll be right back. Hold on. All right. I'm back. It's all good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Living in this lovely firefly, firefly bag. Speaking is hard today. Living in this lovely firefly bag is my Dark Queen of the Forest. No, Dark Queen of the Earth. I have it stuck in my head as Dark Queen of the Forest and I don't seem to be able to break my, my brain of saying it that way. I'm gonna try, but I keep calling it Dark Queen of the Forest. The Stitch Along from Autumn Line Designs that is currently running is what I have in here. I am doing it on the Nightshade fabric from Under the Sea Fabrics. And I have finished, oh man, I have finished part three. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, that is so pretty on the bottom. I love how it looks all leafy. Oh, she is so pretty. She is going to be so pretty. I cannot wait to see what comes next. And yes, I bought the the fancy needle minder because of course I did. And I'm really happy that I went with the nightshade fabric. It's very, very pretty. The other color that they had for this, the, the golden oak that um, under the sea dyed is also very pretty. And when I saw the first couple of pieces on it, I was like, ooh, maybe I should have done that color. But no, no, I am, I am happy that I have it on the green, especially since I keep calling it dark. Focus. There we go. Especially since I keep calling it dark queen of the forest. On green seems to work. Granted, gilded oak, I think, is the other name, so that also would work. Anyhow, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. And I'm in love with it. Next up is a new start. And it's living in this pretty little Evertote bag. In here is Heartstring Samplery's, what is it called? Winter Comes? Yes, Winter Comes. And I am doing the big piece with the verse, not just the little one. And I am, in fact, doing it on 32 gout black, Belfast linen, with all of the called for colors. Oh, I should have mentioned the stitch along is all the called for colors too. And it's on a 40 count. I remember how to do this, really I do. I bought a huge piece of 32 count black. So let me see if I can find where my actual stitching is on the giant piece. There it is, found it. Do. There we go. Except it goes this way. There we go. Oh, you can see right through that. Let's let's do that. Much better. <laughs> you can see the coffee cups through it. Okay. Isn't that lovely? Focus. Come on, you can focus. Focus. There we go. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I love this. I love this. It is so pretty. 
Ah, uh, and I have. Ooh, my God. Okay, <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm in love with it, and it's not too bad stitching on the black fabric. There's literally a certain time of the day that I can't do it. It's not night. It's actually like mid-afternoon where just because of the way the light's shining from my light and from my window, I have a harder time finding the holes. But at night, when I just have my light, I can see just fine. So I am amused by that, at least at this time of year. Who, who knows what it'll be like at, you know, later on in the year when I'm working on this, because, you know, time does stuff. There we go. And then, living in here, I'm only going to show you the chart because I currently have this on my stand. And since I'm just working on border, it wasn't that exciting to show off. So this one, I also started. I started this yesterday because that was the day that I saw the first snowflakes in the sky. And that is the Scarlet House's A Season, nope, A Sampler for All Seasons. And all I have done, yoop on this side is I have done the border for that box. That's all I've done. And I bought this as a kit and so I am using mostly the called for colors in their NPI version plus um, the fabric which is a 40 count Steinbeck from Needle and Flax and I haven't used Needle and Flax linens before. I really like their Steinbeck so that might be a company I have to look at some more because I'm really enjoying their I like the color and I like the fabric. It's very, very pretty. Um, and I say mostly using the call for NPIs, but the color they had for the entire border here was brown. And not even that dark of a brown. Not like that black brown that's, that's just a brown that's kind of leaned into, uh, it's that black that's leaned into brown, so you definitely say it's a brown, but, but it's kind of also black. No, it was just brown. And I didn't like that, so I grabbed some of my M&M's, Almond M&M's Raven Black Silk that I have, um, because I bought a whole hank of that, and I have plenty. <laughs> so I wound off a bunch of it and put it on a floss drop for this project. And I don't think you can read what it says. It says, when the weather is hot, rainy or cold, I look at my chart and stitch as I'm told. The wind may howl, raindrops may fall. I'm in my wo own world and safe from it all. With colors of thread from every hue, it makes me happy. This much is true. And when I got this, I was like, I want to start this on a stormy day or when it snows or something like that. When there was some sort of weather. Weather, not just eh, weather. So I decided since it doesn't snow here all that often, I'd started on the first day I saw snowflakes in the sky because they don't always stick. And so that was yesterday. And part of me is like, oh, I should have waited till today to start it when there's literally now snow on the ground. Actually, I think most of the snow on the ground has melted. There's snow on the rooftops and cars. <laughs> but I started it, I'm enjoying it, and I like it, and it's pretty. And yeah, all is fantastic. And it is also living in a Evertote bag. And I'm not a coffee drinker, not really, but I love coffee art, like the foam art. And so in my brain, for some reason, there happens to be some coffee beans around some great, great chai and tea cups. Black tea, some chai tea, maybe a chai tea latte which makes me laugh because chai should be the whole word. Chai is milk, tea with spices. That's literally what chai is. So when you say chai tea latte, you're saying a tea with spices and milk, tea with milk. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> looks like chai and some black tea. And for some reason there's coffee beans on it. I don't know why. And don't talk to me about dirty chai. Do not talk to me. That is an abomination. Abomination. Dirty chai is an abomination. Just should not exist. Enough said. Right. <laughs> that 
is all of my whips and my finishes and my new starts. I'm feeling pretty chuffed. Pretty chuffed if I do say so myself. I am happy. So let's get on to stash and then plans and then life. Doing good, doing good, doing good. So, stash. I got some. Oh, yeah. It's been a month. It's been a month. It's been a, it's been a month. And I'm not showing all of it, technically, because some of it is advent calendars, countdown calendars, and things like that, which have been showing up. And I will be opening those during Flossmas, Vlogmas, countdown, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm not going to show, oh look, it's a box of a bunch of little tiny bags, <laughs> but I am going to show you two of my advents because they're the advent, um, socks, the stripy socks. I bought two this year because I didn't know about one of the people. So in this one. is my Cozy Knitter 24th Advent Stripe. And yes, it says no peeking. I know, I know. But they were skeined up, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. And technically, I didn't peek. My partner, the guy, he wound them for me, because he's great. I got this one with a mini to go with. So I have done the cuffs. So I've just done 12, uh, a two by two rib. And so I will be using this for the heels and the cuffs, I think. That's it, just the cuffs and the heels. And I'm going to be doing a shadow wrap heel on both pairs of my stripy Advent socks. I am using, oh, what are they? The Collage Square DPNs in a 2.5 millimeter, which is a US 1.5. And, yep, I'm all prepped. I have this guy, and I have this guy. Probably could actually cut this guy off the skein, but I haven't yet for some stupid reason. Anyhow, I have my two cuffs. Woo! Exciting! Two cuffs! Yay! And that is living in this little tea bag, this little hot beverage bag. Again, they keep putting coffee beans next to my tea and I don't know why. And I don't remember who made this bag. Is there a name? I do not see a name. Oh, there is a name. Who made this? Who's the maker? Mini Moon. Mini Moon made this bag. And I liked all the hot beverages. And I guess not all of them have coffee beans on them. But a darn sight tootin' number do. This one should definitely not. This is so a teacup. This one right here, obviously hot cocoa. All right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll stop with my, my coffee dislike. So that, that one is the um, cozy. You can tell it was my partner who did it because he ripped the <laughs> he ripped the skein. So yeah. Oh focus. There we go. 2022 Advent 24 striped skein by the Cozy Knitter. So there's one of them. The other <laughs> It's hard when you can't use two hands. Okay. The other advent one I have is Woolens and Nosh. And Woolens and Nosh's <laughs> uh, advent socks come in a bag already wound for you with just the little bits hanging out. So I literally do not have a clue what the colors will be because I can't see them. I got this one also, and it comes in a cute little bag. bag. What does it say? It says, one's a Nosh 2292 Advent skin. A little cheapy on it. So adorable. Love it. Oh, sorry. 
This is rough on my arm. I'm kind of surprised. I am doing these with a two by two ribbing as well. And obviously these I'm doing magic loop and I am using a US one 2.25. Guess, you know, why not have one as a 2.5 and this is a two point, whatever I'm doing, I don't even know anymore. So I am doing these ones magic loop and this is on the mindful needles. And I love this color just this nice purpley black. It's definitely a black, but it's kind of got this purple tint going to it. Here's the, here's the ball. You are just not having fun focusing today. Okay. How about, how about I cover that? Ah, is that the problem? It's just trying to focus on something up here. I don't know what. Right. <clears throat> Quit trying to focus on other faces. Focus on my yarn. It's the most important thing in the room. Do, 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 do. So yes, it's this purpley black. I mean, it's definitely a black, but it has this purple lean to it that I just really like. Oh, that really helped the focusing issues, didn't it? Don't have a clue what it thought was up there. I covered it, and that made sense. Anyway, so I have both the cuffs done for that one as well. And I don't know what I did with the bag. There it is. And the cute little bag. So every day during December, oh my gosh, <laughs> every day during December, I am going to be doing a stripe a day on both of those socks. And I just put both of them in here. So this is going to be my advent sock bag. And I'm excited because it's gonna be really really fun. I mean, I, I enjoyed doing the cozy knitter one last year Which was the one stripe one stripe one stripe and this year I'm really excited to do this one and the woolens and nosh one I think is gonna be fun because you, you don't know what the color is and if I remember what her little Taggy thing said when I got it. It was um, between each stripe there is a stripe of a sim a, the same color running through like that probably the same color as the mini so you can stop when you get to that part so that you don't see what the stripe is going to be the next day until the next day and you can just knit that I'm, I'm, I'm excited I'm excited for both of them it's gonna be so much fun I enjoyed it kind of got into plans there but you can understand why right so there's that for stash I got my December Sock Squad. This is called Two Medicine, and it is on their High Wood Sock, which is an 8020, and it is a gorgeous color. I have, I have signed up for this again next year. I couldn't help it. I did. Um, it's all going to be nature and plant-based this time this year. They have a whole little spiel on it, and I'm excited. I'm going to see about trying to use. I think I'm going to lean on this, th these, of the two monthly socks I'm going to be getting. I'm going to try and make a sock a month again. I did it a couple of years ago and it was really, really fun. So I'm going to try it again. And I think I'm going to try it with this, the um, Farmer's Daughter's Fibers Sock Squad. Oh, that is a good color. That is just a, pr oh, I love this combo. And I like how this, this, this mini here, it, it's almost a gray based white like there is a hint of gray to it I you wouldn't call it gray but there is just it is not just it is not just an undyed there is some sort of wash to that color it's really lovely anyhow I love farmer's daughter's fibers socks and couldn't help it the next one is my Apologies. <laughs> the next one is my Knit Spin Farm, and this is the Little Known Holidays Club. It is changing theme next year. Um, next year it's going to be like, ooh, science and 
nature? I don't remember. I don't remember. It's it's just the theme of, of what she calls it. It's still going to be targy, self-striping, fingering weight. So, perfect. Um, this is a Superwash Targi uh, 9010. So, 90% Superwash Targi, 10% nylon. And this one is for eggnog and pumpkin pie days, which are the 24th and the 25th of December. And that's why I'm tempted to use this one, because you get this in enough time that you could knit up a pair of socks in the striping and then wear it on the day. We'll figure it out. I haven't figured out my knitting plans next year. So this is eggnog, yellow, surrounded by whipped cream, speckled with spices, pumpkin pie, surrounded by tan crust and pie tin gray. So that is the lovely compass. And yeah, I'm keeping her as well. I might move this one, because you can't, you, I might move this one to an every other month, but I haven't decided. <sighs> so exciting. And I received my McMullen Fiber Company. Ooh, I should show the thing it's based on. This is my November McMullen Fiber Company. And it is based on, well, I'm going to mispronounce that entire thing, so I'll just hold it up. It's based on that lovely painting. And I threw it on the ground. And it is this lovely skein. Those gorgeous colors. This one's on their classic sport base. So this one can come on their uh, one of their fingering weight bases or one of their sport weight bases, and it is gorgeous. And then in this... Oops, I grabbed the wrong card. Um, in, in this box, they uh, sent out what their theme for next year is going to be because this is their um, fiber gallery, so it's based on art pieces. And next year's fiber gallery that they are choosing, art gallery-wise, is the Louvre. I love the Louvre. The Louvre is gorgeous. I've been there twice and didn't get to spend enough time there either time. But I am not, oh, I am not getting the McMullen Fiber Company Louvre Fiber Gallery yarn subscription next year. I'm not doing it. So one of you, one of you who watch this as a knitter, you have to get it and show me the skeins. That's how this works, right? I did it this year and the year before. So now it's your turn. Go find McMullen Fiber Company and sign up. They're gorgeous skeins, they're gorgeous yarns, and it's fun that you have some sport and some fingering. You can play with cowls and, oh, it's just delicious. You can buy extra skeins if it's a color you really, really love, if you want it in a bigger project. They're great. I absolutely love your yarns. That's not why I'm not getting it. I'm get, not getting it because I, I can't be getting three, four, five skeins a month, every month. It adds up. So that is why I'm not doing it this year. Nothing to do with yarn, which is always just, I mean, look at that. Look at that. So gorgeous. Just, ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop. I love their yarn. It's beautiful. I think I got that covered. So before I had my surgery, my partner and I went to Ocean Shores, Washington, and did a little long beach weekend. It was nice. It was fun. We had it planned for a while, so we had this planned before my before the guy was laid off. So we still went because we needed to. We we needed a break. <laughs> we stayed in these ridiculous themed A-frame eight-frame rooms. They were little little apartments, little A-frame apartments. Uh, probably could sleep four to six people in one. It was just the two of us. But they were themed, and ours was themed Egyptian. There was a six-foot-tall Anubis statue in the room, in the living room. Six-foot-tall Anubis. It was glorious. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. They had, they had themed games. So you could play Senate, you could play Egyptian chess, chess with Egyptian pieces. The movies, 
obviously, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. No, the first one, Ark. Indiana Jones and the Temple of the, the, the Lost Ark. One, because that's in that area. And then the Mummy Trilogy. I'd never watched the Mummy Trilogy before. Never bothered. So we watched the first Mummy movie and <laughs> it was awful and I loved it. It was terrible. It was good. So bad it was good. And then I tried to watch the second one and it was just bad. I'm sorry, kid actors, just get rid of them. Don't, don't, or they can be there, but don't rely on them, especially when they're not that great. I mean, some kid actors are great. You have things like most of the child actors from um, Game of Thrones, amazing actors, amazing. But a lot of the time, just don't, just don't, especially in comedy. Anyway, personal opinion. Couldn't watch the second one. It was too bad. Just too, too bad. But enjoyed the awfulness of the first. Anyhow, while we were out there, we went through Aberdeen. And I looked up that there was a yarn shop there. And it is a woman who, um, it's a yarn shop and it's her own dyes. So it's mostly just what she, what she, her own yarn dyeing is in that building. So I bought a couple things. It's called Weird Sisters Wool Emporium, and it's all based on, like, she has themed areas. Like, this is all Doctor Who yarns. This is all Alice in Wonderland yarns. This is all type of thing. So this one was, uh, I forgot which this theme was, the diner guy. I don't remember what this one's theme was, but that's a fun color. And this is her, they're all, I think, on her Carol base, which is a 7525 Merino nylon. So that was pretty. This one is called As You Wish. I'm assuming you can guess that that is obviously Princess Bride. As you wish. And here's the... The label for As You Wish. So you have Close of Insanity and what else is on here? Miracle Max, Thieves Forest. So like even her themes are on her yarns are done. And this one's just, it's that. Ooh. I don't remember what this theme was. And this one is Gingerbread Man. So it was just uh, <laughs> Gingerbread Man. It was a Halloween theme. Christmas. Christmas like. Christmas theme. And I just liked her gingerbread colorway. And I didn't buy any specific um, Christmas colorways for socks this year. I have a whole bunch back here that I still need to do. I normally will buy Skein Deer Knits. Not Skein Deer. Stranded Dye Works. There we go. I usually buy Stranded Dye Works um, Christmas colorway for the year. They are a dyer who lives in Scotland and dyes in Scotland, and he has uh, some glorious colorways. I have I have several of their colorways up here, and a bunch of their their Halloween hmm, again with the Halloween Christmas Christmas colorways, um, glorious. But he's had a very bad year. Very very bad year and he was unable to dye any yarn for Christmas. If if you have extra money like in the new year or I don't think they have anything in stock right now with everything that's going on right for them um, and you are a knitter buy some yarn from him. Uh, this past, like in the last six months, he found out, and he is an only child, he found out that both of his parents had terminal medical issues. And I think it was within four or three, three, four weeks of each other, they died. Lost his mom, 
seemed like just like two, maybe three weeks later, lost his dad. So he's having a rough time. He didn't have any time to dye Christmas yarn this year at all. No duh. He's usually who I buy my Christmas yarn from. And uh, in the new year, when he is back from some surgery that he has planned and after all the crap he's been through, I'm going to be tossing some money that way, even with um, shipping rates. I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, anyway, depressing. But so this is why I did this colorway for Ginger Big Man, because I still like having Christmas socks, even though I didn't start them and I didn't finish last year's, which is his socks, his sock way, his sock colorway. I started Christmas socks in his Christmas colorway from last year, and they're still in a bag in my living room because I was going to pull them out and try and get them done before December. You will note, they are not here. I didn't even stitch a single stitch. But the plan was there. The plan was there. And nobody needed to be that close to my face. Yikes. I know I have those yarns. I'm not sure if these yarns are in my inventory, so. I will throw them over there so that I can check. All right, all right. So next, next up, next up, next up, next up. Okay. Three last things. I have my, uh, there will be crinkling involved if I can figure out where the crinkle starts. I have my, sorry, terribly sorry. I need to remember to take those out before here, but I never do. I have my Be Stitch Me of the month. I do their neutral Callaway ones, and this is Portabella, uh, and it is gorgeous. I am in love with this color. It is this glorious grayy, greeny, taupey color. <laughs> Sounds awful, but it's beautiful. Oh, you're not really seeing the greens showing up. Oh, it's good. It's good, but I love the modeling on it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful color. I also, oh, quit using that arm lane. It's just not worth it. I have my Leo and Roxy colorways, um, flosses. I get both the neutrals and the brights. Uh, they are changing their name from Leo and Roxy Floss Co. to Roxy Floss Co. Um, so I will be attempting, desperately, to remember that and start calling it by the correct name. But as you can see, from my Dark Queen of the Earth, I'm very bad at changing names once they get stuck in my head. At least for businesses. I can do it for people. For some reason, I guess I don't care as much when it's a business. <laughs> Doesn't matter as much, so I don't try as hard. So let's look at the brights first. This one is Pink about it. That one's fun. Drizzle. Ooh, that's a nice one. It's a lightly, it's a gray, but it has like a tiny bit of a blue wash on it. Aquatics. Pewter. That's a nice color. Teal my heart. The names, the names, the names, the names. They are so punny. And now let's do the neutrals. We have fossil. Oh, that's a good neutral. I like that. Ooh. No, you're not changing your minds. You're not changing your plans. Sangria. This sand that. Not this end of that. This sand that. <laughs> Pika blue. That has some pretty variegation. And frosting. So we have, oh my God, my arm. we have our neutrals. And we have our brights. So pretty. 
and these were for November just double checking these were for November so pretty I love their floss club and I'm continuing to get it because they're pretty and the last bit of stash that I got was this kit from Fox and Rabbit it is Elizabeth Broadhead 1833 I just it's pretty <laughs> I like the house I like these peacocks in the trees she was 11 it says while some in folly's pleasures roll and seek the joys that hurt the soul be mine that silent calm repast a peaceful conscience to the last I kind of like it might alter it might not we'll see if I do I might just alter it a tiny bit because I like that first part it amuses me <laughs> Anyhow, this is beautiful and I very much love it. I know that this border is a bit of a bear because it's, it's quite the border. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous, but it's a, uh, a lot. And this is on all the called for, cause like I said, I got the kit. It's all the called for flosses. It looks like mostly classic color works. I have floss tags with their thing. I have a little floss key fob thing. That was very pretty. That was very, very pretty. And I believe this is on their white clay. And I love their fabrics. Their fabrics are delicious. <sighs> so that is the last of my stash. And yay. <laughs> That's not terrible for a month. Now, let's get on to plans. I kind of segued into them a little bit. I will <clears throat> be doing Vlogmas this year. Flossmas, Vlogmas, Countdown Vlogs, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I will be vlogging every day, starting December 1st through probably the 25th. We'll see. I don't know exactly. But my plan is to vlog every day, vlog every day and put up a little little clip opening up all of my advents of which I have several of very different varieties but I have, I have a few and to show you what progress I have made on my advent stitching and knitting because I have both and tell you about my advent teas because I have teas and And, um, yeah, I'm just kind of maybe walk you through my days. Maybe not. We'll see. It's not like I'm doing a lot. Um, I'm hoping I'll be back at work partway through that. I, I know I won't be going this Friday and odds are I won't be going next Friday either. Maybe, maybe I'm kind of crossing my fingers that I can try for a half day. We'll see. We'll see how cars work. I'll figure that out tomorrow when I go to the doctor. So far, cars have not worked well. Anyhow, plans. Let's get back to those. So I will be vlogging starting Thursday. Did you hear that? Thursday. 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 The day after this goes up. Thursday. Yikes. Anyhow, I have four knitting yarn advent calendars. Four. And I'm planning on at least two advent projects that I want to knit during the month. One is called The Quest, and it is a shawl slash wrap that looks fun and everyone, like, it's a quest. You're on a quest. You roll dice, and you see if you win the battle, and if you do, you do one type of chart. If you don't win the battle, you do a different chart. And then you do some brioche in between the colors and then you continue on. And it just sounds delightful and I'm wanting to try it. We'll see if I actually did. Uh, the other project I want to start is the who, do, 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 cozy comfort, cozy, cozy comfort throw. 
I think. It is a blanket, obviously, and it is using an advent with a yarn, a second yarn held with. So you have more of a DK weight. And I am going to do that while holding it with an undyed, um, undyed skein. So I'm going to do all that. And I've already planned which, which advents that will be. So I'm good. I have a Hue Loco advent and it is a fade. I have a Plies and Hellhounds advent, which is Pandora's box themed and I love her yarns and it's going to be gorgeous and glorious and I haven't decided which thing that's going to be. I have McMullen Fiber Company, their classic literature um, book covers one. I think that's what I'm going to turn into the comfort throw. Not sure, but that's what I'm leaning towards. And then I have Canon Hand Eyes um, It's a book series. It's based on a book series and I'm blanking on the name of the book series. I like parts of the book series. Other parts of the book series make me want to punch things, but I'm picky that way. So I have those. I have the Modern Folk Embroidery Evertote collaboration countdown box. I, I bought the whole thing, not just the chart, I bought the whole thing. So I have the Leo and Roxy flosses and the Modern Folk Embroidery chart and all of that. And I am really excited to start that. Uh, I'm hoping I can keep up to date on that one because I think just a little bit of knitting and a little bit of stitching each day sounds really fun. I have my two socks also that I'm going to be knitting. Those are my first priority. My top priority are my, my socks and then the, the stitching, the Modern Folk Embroidery because I think that's just going to be really fun really, really fun. I really want to do it. So those are the two I really want to keep up on. Then I have a Katrinkles box and that's actually a 31 day countdown box. And that's just um, a lot of knitting tchotchkes. And that'll be fun. And then I have two or three tea boxes. Because evidently when I'm high on uh, drugs that they give you at the hospital and then they send you home after having surgery and then you're laying there kind of comatose not knowing what you're doing or, or or what day it is or what your own name is or anything like that um, I should not have access to the internet because when I do I buy tea and don't know it I bought two bags of tea and a tea advent even though I already had two no, I had one. I bought two. There we go. There's the right numbers. I had one tea advent. I was going to enjoy one tea advent. And then I bought two more. <laughs> well, well on meds. So I have three tea advents, four yard advents, one knitting box, stitching box, a modern folk embroidery, and Black Needle Society. That's excessive. That is excessive. Excessive. But that's why I'm going to try and knit at least one of the advents during said month. Those are my plans for Vlogmas and all of the advents. All of them. I, I'm going to try and drink at least one of the teas all the way down during the, the, the month. Then I'll only have two extra advents. Oh my lord. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, and then I also have plans for December of finishing my 2022 Modern Folk Embroidery Mystery Stitch Along. Because it is almost done. I am up to date on it. I have all the way through November done. So when it is released on the 1st, I am going to put it up on my frame and I'm going to stitch the heck out of it to try and get it finished ASAP and I can have that one finished so that my original plan of not having another modern folk embroidery stitch along next year will fail miserably because I saw the new one and I purchased it but at least I won't have two going at the same time I'll have finished one why 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 are Jacob charts so awesome. Why? I saw it and I was just like, I love this. And I know exactly what threads I'm going to use. And I know what, we are, what fabric I'm going to put it on. 
and, and then I purchased it. Like, I saw it and went, oh, I'm using these threads in these colors. It's just how it's going to be. Just, just on, on, on this fabric. Done. You'll have to wait to see. I'm going to make you wait. You got to have some mystery, don't you think? So there's that. And then also the fourth portion of Dark Queen of the Forest. I give up. Dark Queen of the Forest will be coming out and I want to keep up to date on that one so that I don't fall behind. And then a ton of advent knitting and a ton of, of advent stitching and normal stitching. And do you think I'm going to be able to keep up on all of it? Who knows? I will be trying to film in the mornings to get these put up so that I can get to all of my stitching and knitting. <laughs> um, but I don't know how that will work um, for all of the days. But my plan is to um, film kind of first thing in the morning and, and do all that. So I will open things on the first and show you and film and then put it up on the first and you understand how it works. It's nothing new. I enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I will not be filming first thing in the morning. Odds are I won't be filming that on the days I work, but since I'm just still recovering from surgery, I'm not working all that often. I'm trying to get into work because it is the holiday season and I do work retail and me even being able to work a half day is better than not being there at all. At least I can be there so somebody else can take a lunch, <laughs> you know? So I'll, I'll see what I can pull off for that. But on those days, I won't be filming in the morning. I'll be filming when I can. But and my sister will be coming up and visiting. So I'll film around her. You know, I'll film around life like everybody does. But I really enjoyed it the last two years, so I want to do it again. It's, it's fun, and I enjoy it. So I'm doing it again. It's good enough reason, right? And other than that, I am making plans for next year. And I have joined Whip Warriors for next year. It is a Facebook group. And have chosen to follow, it used to be called No New Starts. Um, but they've changed their name for this coming year. It's Whip Warriors. Or they've already done the name change, I believe. No, they have already done the name change. Um, to more accurately show what, what, what their goal is. It's not just no new starts, though that is their goal, limited starts to no new starts, but it's work on the things you have, work on the things you've already started. That's, that's their, their push. And I would like, even though I just had two new starts and might have, and, and definitely will have a third and a fourth because of the modern folk embroidery 2023 and the uh, modern folk embroidery advent, I'm at least starting those two. Anyway, whatever. I I uh, want to limit my whips, uh, limit my starts, so I can work on my whips, so I can get more of them done. Because I would like to finish them. I like them. They're fun, and I want to. This is what I want to do. So I have chosen the 23 in 23 track. That is, you pick 23 projects to work on and you work on those throughout the year. If you finish one, you can replace it. Um, I am trying to start with only picking out 17, 18, maybe 19 um, charts or whips that I'm working on so that I have that ability to put in a new start or choose a different choose another whip from my my plethora of whips. I have them all um, in a spreadsheet now and I have 50 something whips. Which, whatever. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a whip parade this year or if I'm just going to do a these are my 23 projects parade this year. I, I might do a combo. These are my whips and these are the ones I'm going to focus on. I don't know. Haven't decided that. If I do, it'll be at the end of the month or beginning of January. I haven't decided. And so those are those plans and for my knitting I just I would like to knit more basically I I need to figure out a plan for my knitting but I would like to knit more now on to life I've mentioned to twice that I had surgery recently and I did 
last, not last Tuesday, two Tuesdays ago, I had my breast reduction slash reconstruction surgery. And ow. Yeah, that's a, that's an that's an ow. That's an ow. Um, I do bad with the anesthetics. I felt sick for about a week. A different kind of sick than last time, but still not good. <laughs> not good at all. I just, it's not good for me. <laughs> it's not good for anyone, but you know what I mean. It was, ugh, I don't like it. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm a lot more comfortable, but I'm very weak on this side and it hurts a lot. And being in a car is absolute torture that makes me cry. So, and that's just to get from my house to the doctor's office, which is in the same town that I live in. Tears to get there and back. And that's not driving, that's as a passenger. So, that is my concern about working, because I work not in the same town that I live in. It's an hour drive. Sometimes worse. That is the thing that's, that's making me hesitate about getting to work. I was not able to go to my family's for Thanksgiving. I stayed home. I, I sent my, my, my guy to represent for us. And they sent me, they sent home with him a bunch of Thanksgiving. So I still got Thanksgiving dinner. I just didn't go because that was a, would have been a bad idea. I have a friend's wedding this Saturday and I'm not going to make it. I want to go. I want to go so bad. But... I'm still wearing surgical bras. Like, I, ugh, I don't, yeah. I wanna go, I wanna go, and we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm crossing my fingers, but I, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. The cars are just too hard. Um, but I'm, I'm walking and getting out, getting my energy back up, and it's all good. It's just, it was a lot of cutting. I don't want to get into the TMI of, of everything that happens, but it's a lot and it hurts and there's a lot of healing that needs to happen and a lot of stitches came out of places that should never have stitches and it is what it is. I'm going to be glad I did it. I hate the way it looks, but I hated the way it looked before. So nothing changed there. It's just a different type of hate. <laughs> What else, right? So that's mainly all I've been up to is trying to recover from that. But yeah, that's why I was having a hard time reaching over here. So I was just throwing things when I was finished. Um, my arm is very, very weak. So lifting all the things has been hard. I can lift up to there before it really starts pulling weird. And you know, it's it's just it's healing. It's 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 nothing major. Like, it's not like they opened up my body cavity and had to do anything that way. That's a big surgery. This is, this is still surgery, but it's not as bad. <laughs> not as big. But lots of cutting. <laughs> so it just it hurts. So that's mostly what I've been doing is, is sitting on my couch and recovering from that and sleeping a lot. And now that I'm feeling better, trying to get out and walk and get some of my stamina back and drinking lots of water to try and flush all that awful meds out of me and knitting because that doesn't move my arm. I don't have to move this arm pretty much at all to knit. And so as long as it wasn't heavy and even my blanket because it sits in my lap, it's not heavy, I was fine with knitting. And it's just recently that I've been able to stitch because that, that makes this arm move because I stitch in a frame and with a stand and I stitch two-handed and so this hand moves and even if I did it the other way this hand would have to hold the Q-snap and or the hoop and because I can't stitch in hand I can't do it <laughs> and that's just too much too much it has been so I'm just recently getting back yesterday just recently started stitching again I'm really happy about it really happy about it while I was recovering a couple days ago, I don't remember what day, because what is time? I was on a Zoom uh, with a bunch of stitchers and I was knitting. 
because I couldn't stitch yet. And it was so nice. Um, it was Carla being Crafty's uh, Zoom that I was on. It was so nice to be sitting there and everybody's stitching. And it kind of itched that I really want a stitch bug for me because I've been really wanting to stitch and haven't been able to. And it was nice nice to just be able to sit there and hear people talk about their stitching and see what people were stitching and listen to them enjoy their stitching and it was just really glorious to be able to sit there even if I wasn't stitching and to be able to have that it was nice so the next day I was like I'm going to try to stitch and no, that night, that night I tried to stitch. I got six stitches in a way I can't. Then I put different undergarments on, more restrictive and painful undergarments. Well, it's all is painful. And that is better, and I can stitch some. So I'm stitching a little bit, and it feels so good. It feels so good to be able to be stitching again. I'm very happy. That's it. That's all I've been doing. So I'm going to let everybody go. I will see you all. On December 1st for flossy vloggy counting miss <laughs> I hope all of you are super well thank you so much for hanging out with me today I have no clue how long this is but my battery is flashing now so obviously it was very long and I will see you all very very soon take care bye bye